that you guys are welcome back to my channel and if i really enjoy filming this video i'll continue filming content like this but anyways <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is vivian i just came here to just explain no i explain this came here to come and share good news anybody that hear me say i'm going to come talk about the good news now i think i started the movie no i just saw the movie yesterday and i'm just like this movie i must talk about it i love the movie and it's just something that i feel like i want people to really watch and uh, yeah it's a nollywood movie everybody that knows me knows that i love nollywood it's not those kind of people that will be like uh i don't watch nigerian movie i love nigerian movie <laughs> I love Nigeria movies. It's Brother Life, Brother Life by Jero Stephen. And the movie is awesome. If you're still thinking that, oh, Nigeria movie, I'd, I've been seeing it on social media, I don't think I want to watch it. I've been seeing it on Netflix, I don't think I want to watch it. My dear, you got to watch this film. An irresponsible young man in conflict with his mother wakes up one day and to his surprise, no one knows and recognizes him except for a local bread seller this is my own summary this is my own take from the movie um there's a young man <laughs> before i would jump into it if i jump into it the movie is produced and directed by the builder stephen and it starred actors like mc <laughs> actors like mc lively bisola ayola my darling being body movie awesome fantastic actor <laughs> timini egusi tinamba um we get and then Jimmy Gilati, Bola Lintino Nino Lou. Yeah, big basically those are the main characters. So yeah, the movie talks about like a spoiled brat from a rich family. We all know who that is. That's Timini, obviously. His name is Sumi in the movie. He's a rich boy, like his parent. I don't really, I don't want to necessarily say they spoiled him, but like he just grew up He's a trust fund baby. <laughs> So he already feel like, oh, he doesn't have to work for anything. His mom is always like, trying to look for something to do. They put him in university. He, he said he doesn't like the first course. He doesn't like the second course. And his mom was like, what do you want to do? And he was like, oh, he wants to leave. Then they showed him packing. His mom was like, somebody was in the guest room. And they checked the guest room. And they saw him. And they could not recognize him. And apart from this bread tiller, which the story said. So... The bread seller in this movie is Bimbo Atemoye. <laughs> Tedo Wedo Bread. Tedo Wedo. Uh, uh, like, I'm not even, so I cannot pronounce the name well, very well, but like, it's like Tedo Wedo. Say Wedo. <laughs> she, she could recognize me. She was asking me, like, it was wrong. Like, how I did they send you out? I know you, blah, blah, blah. And he was shocked that Len was surprised and excited at the same time that at least somebody recognized him. It's not that he's running mad or something. Then this bread seller tried to, like, Help him took him to his house to a house and uh, yeah according to Hannah she was like I mean I helped you I gave you accommodation but you cannot be staying at home and uh, you have to look for a job she said it but she's hawking bread <laughs> like he has to look for a job and um, yeah but they were staying together he was just doing like normal mini jobs and watching let me just pause watching Timini do all these things I watched Elevator Baby I loved Timini in Elevator Baby because it was like Another type of um, movie that I'm seeing Timini act up from the bad boy T that we know. And it's a fantastic actor. He knows how to act those roles well. And I just feel like Nolly would have just typecasted him to that particular role of him being a bad boy, rich guy, you know. Just being that kind of Timini that we really know on social media. But coming to see Timini in this vulnerable state, in this movie, was awesome i was like i loved it i you know it was very realistic to the extent that i was pitying this boy like i had tears in my eyes watching the movie which is like it was it was believable he acted it very well that you you can you can feel the emotion and it was it was awesome <laughs> like it was really really awesome to see timmy act that kind of movie and he did it well fantastic like it was you could pity him that oh this guy is sad this guy is i mean i don't want like just go watch it just go just go as i'm talking about it just go watch it <laughs> so and um yes uh he was like he could not do the job because 
obviously even watching him you will know that this boy is not caught up for all this kind of stress in his life this boy is from a wealthy family i said trust phone baby trust <laughs> trust phone baby you know so he went back home i mean the home now is um teddy Wedo's house he went back there and it was like he can't do this so just girl like let me just take a pause again and just appreciate Bimbo Ademoye. Bimbo Ademoye is a fantastic, incredible entertainer, actor, whatever you want to call it. She is good. I mean, like, we need, she, she needs an award. She needs a special award. I, I, for me, like, Bimbo Ademoye is one of the best actors in Nigeria, hands down. I'm talking about rain, talking about versatility or versat being versatile in movies, roles. I don't know. I, I, I had to post on my, on my Instagram yesterday when I finished watching the movie that what Being Boy cannot act does not exist. I've not seen any movie that Being Boy is acting and I'm like, what is she doing? Being Boy is awesome. Aunt Bero, she can act it. Sweet girl, she can act it. Secretary, she can act it. Like, this girl has range. She has no, Bimbo is sweet. Like, seeing her act an ego woman in this breaded life was beautiful. Like, I was laughing. I was, I was excited. I was very, I was connected to the movie. You know, it was very sweet to watch the accent, the facial expressions, the way she was, like, the way she was, her body language, everything just rhyme, just matches the old um the old character you know and it was just so awesome like i think everybody in the movie was fantastic and she was like oh she's going to introduce him to other people to help him but then they should belong in the world but like the one that was it was another room is doing street orita orita maube his name is jobe and uh, you know, Beardy Stephen was the person that directed Picture Perfect, so it was like a crossover from Picture Perfect Jobe into Red and Life as Jobe as well. So <laughs> she brought him to Jobe. It was, that that scene was very funny because he was like, "Oh yeah, now greet. You want to greet Alaye Makanaki Chagaba of the street?" That's how Timmy said. Twilight. He was like, "Twilight, Twilight, Twilight." They were like, ah, <laughs> yeah, using English to be speaking to Ali. Everybody was like, sorry, you cannot do Agbero, that you will not survive the Agbero listening. So they had to introduce him to Chigunu, which is Adejimiji Latif. Yeah, him and Red Taylor, the they were just the do. Like, they fell in love. And it was beautiful to watch because it was just like love in the trenches. <laughs> <laughs> no shades, I'm not trying to insult anybody. But like you could see the genuineness in the old relationship thing and it was very beautiful. It was it was natural, it was not forced, you know. Where did I stop? My camera died. I didn't remember where I stopped the game. Yeah, so their love was just so beautiful to watch and it was very interesting. I love it. And um yeah. It was at the end of the day it was just like a love story between a rich boy and, i mean i don't i don't spoil the movie for you i, I think i already said a lot of the movie but i don't want to spoil the movie for you before um the bit the, the love story was just very it was just very it was tantalizing let me look how i'm going to read the movie casting casting is like a 10 over 10 for me because tina did well as being the mother of um timmy timmy did amazing playing sumi um b-boy played Tedo Wedo I don't know I don't know who else would have played it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna think about it, but like she played it to the T. She crossed the T, she not crossed the T, dot the eyes. That's what she did. It was awesome. So for me, casting Stella Martin, Auntie Agi Bisola was awesome. I mean MC Lively is MC Lively. There was funny bone as well in the movie. Um, the acting as um, acting and education quality was amazing. It was top notch, nine over ten. Um, the script storyline was that. I mean, I'm not gonna give it ten over ten. You should think that just mm -hmm, like, hmm. but it's not like really. Mm -mm. <laughs> like, I'll just give it like a nine. Um, the timing, even though the movie was like two hours, I'm like you will never know because it was you, you get carried away. <laughs> like 
the movie is that interesting that you don't really care about time. It was two hours long, but it did not feel like two hours. I don't think any part of the movie was being dragged. I'll give for me. I'll give this movie a nine over ten. The movie is a nine over ten for me. I'm, I'm saying with my full chest, even though I don't have a full chest, but like I'm saying it with everything as a nine over ten. I'm telling you that even if you watch this movie, you're not going to regret your two hours. <laughs> you will not regret your two hours. It's on Netflix. Watched on Netflix and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I have uh, other movies like um to review and yeah, not the way to the world, baby. Not the way to the world. Yeah, if you really love this movie, give it a thumbs up. That's a movie. Okay. If you love this um video, Danny, give it a thumbs up. This is like my first video in a, more than a year. So yeah, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys. Whenever. <laughs> I don't want to promise.